Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will uh, we'll revisit the concept of pointers and arrays. The concept of pointers and arrays has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concept. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, we'll try to understand. We'll try to have uh, a more detailed understanding of pointers and arrays in our previous previous class we have discussed about this concept an array has been created so this is the array and the values in the array are 10 20 30 40 50 and the array has been initialized and after that a pointer p has been created and this pointer variable is pointing to the 0th position uh, a of 0 means 100 it is pointing to this uh, memory location okay this we have already discussed but in our uh, uh, in pointer arithmetic video we have discussed that it is possible p plus 1 an integer can be added or subtracted to a pointer variable we can add an integer or subtract a, uh, an integer from the pointer variable that discussion has already been made so what we are trying to understand in this class is we will try to understand different possibilities that are there in C uh, to access the elements of an array and to access the addresses of an array elements of the array so these are the different possibilities that are there uh, that the C is providing one of the uh, uh, one of the kind is it is using the pointer variable using the pointer variable we can access the we can uh, we can change the value of the pointer so we can change uh, 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 using the uh, name of the pointer variable we can uh, change the addresses so how it is done is p plus 1 p plus 1 means we are going to go to the uh, 1 or 2 address now uh, p will be pointing to uh, if p is equal to p plus 1 then uh, p will be pointing to 2 similarly p plus 2 means it is 104 p plus 3 means it is 106 similarly this same output can be obtained by this by this way also using the name of the array a of 1 uh, ampersand a of 1 means we are going to get the address of a of 1 ampersand a of 2 means a of 104 we are going to get so these are the different ways in which we can access the addresses and we in order to access the values in those addresses we have uh, many other ways so one of the ways is uh, it is a star p plus 1 star bracket uh, in the parenthesis and within those parenthesis p plus 1 why these parenthesis that we will try to understand so with the star p plus 1 we are going to get 20 similarly a of 1 is also equal to 20 and star of p plus 2 star of p plus 2 we are going to get 30 the value stored in 1 or 2 in order to get the value stored in p plus 1 we have to use this indirection operator and we have to use these parenthesis why we have to use those parenthesis so coming back to the uh, operator precedence and uh, operator precedence and associativity table for example if we didn't use it this parenthesis so what it is going to be it is going to be star p plus 1 so what happens is uh, among this this star is given the highest precedence and the associated variable is p so star p is star p means here we are pointing to 100 star p is equal to 100 star p is equal to uh, p is pointing to 100 star p is equal to 10 star p is equal to 10 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 so we are going to get an output of so uh, by executing this statement we are going to get an output of 11 but what we want we want the value stored in p plus 1 the value stored in p plus 1 but what we have done we have added 1 to the value stored in star p uh, value stored in p where the p is pointing to p is pointing to 100 so p is pointing to 100 and uh, that value is star p we are going to get that value 10 to that value we have added 1 but what we want is here what we want is we want to get the value stored in p plus 1 p plus 1 memory at the uh, memory location in that location we want that value okay so that is the importance of operator precedence and uh, associativity table for example if this to get the value stored in p plus 1 we have to use this parenthesis because 
because this uh, 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 parenthesis is having the highest precedence and next the star is having the precedence in the operator precedence table please go and check there the parenthesis is going to have the highest precedence so this part will get executed first it is p plus 1 p plus 1 means it is p plus 1 means it is 1 or 2 star of p plus 1 means value in that p plus 1 it is 20 20 will be first and that is going to be the output okay so that is the reason why we are going to use these parenthesis without parenthesis the uh, meaning will change okay so try to think in that way always if an expression is given think in that way with respect to, to the operator precedence table okay so now uh, this is another way to get the values from the uh, uh, values of the array elements and the other way is this is by using the pointer uh, pointer variable the other way is the same arithmetics can also be applied for array also array variable also the same uh, pointer arithmetics are also applicable for array variable so far we have seen the uses of array by using only a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 in that way in order to get the values we are going to use uh, in order to get the addresses it is ampersand a of 1 a of 2 and in order to get the values it is a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 that way but uh, the arrays can also be used uh, with the uh, name array, array variables we can use the uh, uh, pointer arithmetic concepts also okay we can add an integer or subtract an integer from the array name okay so the same uh, logic of pointer is also applicable for array because the reason behind this is because the array is a mnemonic it is not a variable it is a mnemonic which means that it is the address as the pointer is also addressed the the same all the logics that are applicable for pointers is also applicable for array names also okay a plus 1 the same way we are going to get it as 1 or 2 a plus 2 1 or 4 a plus 3 1 or 6 to get the values of the uh, elements stored in the array we have to we can use this concept also which has been used uh, which has, which has been used for pointer variables okay so these are the different ways in which the arrays and pointers can be used and interchangeably these can be used but the only uh, requirement is this pointer has to point to this array if the pointer is pointing to the array we can use either either this way or this way to access the elements or to access the addresses of the uh, uh, array okay so this is all about uh, pointers and arrays this is how the pointers and uh, arrays can be used interchangeably hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching